Hello everyone, I'm glad you're here with me again. This time I decided to talk about a theme that if we get to the bottom of that theme, it can solve all our problems. It can heal all our past. It can show us the way to the future, to genuine happiness, to success, to whatever you want. You can have this whole world in your hands if we get to the bottom of this theme. So, uh, I know that I talked about it in the past in the live streaming, but I didn't, didn't make it justice how I talked about it. It was too quick. So I decided to make a video specifically for this thing. But the idea came from a place that, um, a tweet that I made on Twitter, and there I wrote, help yourself first, and then, the whole universe will be there to help you. Help yourself first. And then the whole universe will be there to help you. And then I had a reply on Twitter and it just asked me, what do I mean by that? If one is not willing to help oneself first, why would anything help one? Why? If you're not willing to invest in yourself first, why would anyone want to invest in you? So there's a lot of people that, when they talk to me about karma, and they ask me about uh, previous lives and uh, things that has to do with things that I can't prove, nor can I access from any uh, reasonable point of view. So I will not speak about that theme of previous lives because it's um, not something that is tangible. But instead, I'm going to speak about the karma as a physical law of cause and effect. Cause and effect. Every act will trigger a react. Every action will create a reaction. Everything echoes to be able to take control of our karma, of the, the feedback that should be in alignment with our desires, with our wishes, to create a reality that we prefer, not a reality that has been chosen for us that benefits someone else. So uh, how can we do that? How we can create that reality? How can we reach those levels of self-healing, those levels of genuine happiness, those levels of success that is created by oneself without compromising substantial traits in one's character. Dignity, love, respect. The ancient wisdom has divided the cause to three parts. There's the aspect of intention, the aspect of knowledge, and the aspect of action. When those three are in alignment with each other, you will get a good karma. When those are not in alignment with each other, when they function separately, you will not take control over your karma and you will receive feedback that is not desirable. So, uh, sometimes we hear people saying, I had the intention to do that, but I couldn't. From the point of view of karma, this is not acceptable. From the point of view of achieving a karma that is in alignment with my desires, intention and action are synonyms, are the same. The when the action is not what we intend it to be, then it's not the same. Then there will, no, there, there will not be a good karma. And you will pay the price of that. And how many of our actions are just an image? They're not really genuinely triggered from our genuine intention. That would definitely create a reality that we don't desire. So uh, this thing that I can't, I want it, but I can't. I want it, but I, would, I don't. <laughs> Even a drug addict that wants to take his drugs, he has the intention and he will act on it. He will go and he will steal just to take his drugs, just to buy his drugs. Of course, 
the lack of knowledge and the lack of understanding of cause and effect and what leads where will lead him to that state of being. But for the short term, his intention to take his drugs, he needs money to buy it, he would go and steal or he'd go and commit a crime just to have the money to be able to buy that drug. And he will achieve success. Short term success, but he will achieve it. Someone that wants to show people that he has a big house, he would go and take money from the bank. He would enslave his whole life just to show that he has a house. A big house. His own house. Or many other luxury that are defined by society as the symbols of success. People who take money from the bank, they enslave their lives just for the show. So when they have the intention and they act on it, they're willing to enslave themselves just to achieve that desire. So when it comes to substantial things that are needed in our lives, there's no such thing. I don't have, I don't have, there's no such thing. There will not create a positive karma. You need to treat what you want, just like how the drug addict treats what he wants. You would go and do everything, everything to act on that intention. But in case that you have the relevant intention and you're lazy in, or you're not willing to give to invest on manifesting that intention, then there's something that will go against you. So first of all, help yourself in the sense of act upon your intention and don't expect from others to give you without you acting on your intention first. The second thing is knowledge. Sometimes you would have intention, a sincere intention, and you will be willing to act on it, but you don't know. You don't know, you're digging in the darkness. You have no idea what's going on. And you have the intention to achieve success. You have the intention to do what you want to do. And you do it. You have, you have like, uh, you're courageous enough to act on that intention, but you don't know. So uh, you will not be in the direction, in the relevant direction to that destination. And here where we need knowledge. In case that you're living in, uh, let's say, uh, Rome, and we want to go to Paris. So there's specific actions that are required to be able to achieve that. I have the intention, and I will go, and I will buy the ticket, and I will go all the way to Paris. But if I don't have the knowledge of where, where is Paris, what is Paris, what leads to Paris, and I, just, and I just buy a ticket to somewhere that I don't know where it is, and I pay the money, and I have the intention to go to Paris, and by this ignorance or lack of knowledge, I get to Berlin, then of course I will get to the, a different result that is not in alignment with my wish. My wish was to get to Paris. So uh, the aspect of knowledge is crucial here. And in our societies, where there's so much misconceptions, where there's so much misleading. There's a lot of good intentions. There's a lot of people who are willing to act upon those intentions, but they are misled. They are not achieving what they want. They are led by fantasies. And sometimes I work with people, for example, an actress one time, and, and uh, they always tell me, yeah, but there's always this actress that worked in a cafe and uh, a director came and saw her and liked her and he took her and she became a star. She became a star. She worked, she had a main role in his film and she became a star. So, uh, and they try to work in cafes, hoping for a director to come to see them and to give them a main role in a film. So, this story is already misinformation. This story is like lottery, selling you a dream. But to be able to achieve success, we can't build a strategy upon fantasies. We need to know. We need knowledge. We have to have a direct access to reality. That way that we can calculate our steps and know where we're going. We want to go to Paris. We go to Paris, not to Berlin. So uh, those myths 
of uh, someone won the lottery and that that's why many people fill lottery all their lives hoping that this is not built on knowledge and maybe people don't know that also those stories that are told about someone won the lottery are just marketing are just advertising it's not the truth we don't know what's going on behind the scenes we don't know how politics behaves so buying into those misinformations as facts is not something that would give us a direction to success, to happiness, to self-healing, to our objectives. And knowledge is crucial because most of us, most of humanity on earth today is digging in the dark. Unfortunately, we're digging in the dark. Misinformation has spread very quickly in the media, in this, on, on social media, or also on mainstream media, and it's, uh, and we like to buy into the, into stories that are not necessarily connected with what should be done, with intention and action. No, 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 no. Tell me a fantasy story of someone won the lot. Someone he's a homeless person goes and he just buys a ticket and wow, he becomes famous and he has uh, he has money. Tell me those stories. When we are motivated, when we have this intention, so we expect a karma to be in a certain way. We must know to be able to achieve what we want. So we have the intention, knowledge, and action. They have to be in alignment. We need to act upon the knowledge and the intention. The knowledge has to be as a result of direct contact with reality and the only thing that I can say is that if they are not in alignment with each other, they will be working against each other. And they will be serving someone else who is using them in alignment with each other. If you think, I, in, in the live streaming, I gave an example about three people who are riding a ship. One is, let's say, the guy who is responsible of the intention. One is the one who is responsible of the knowledge. And one is responsible of the action. If the one who is responsible of the knowledge doesn't know, the ship will not get to its destination. If the one who is responsible of the knowledge knows, and they have the intention to get there, but the action guy is too lazy to work and to move the ship, it will not get there. If someone has the knowledge, they know where, it, where the destination is and how to get there. And the guy of the action is very eager and he's acting upon that knowledge. But the guy of the intention is uh, not interested. He doesn't want to get there for any reason. Maybe there's an enemy that is waiting for him or he wants to go to a different destination. So he begins to make holes in the ship or he begins to uh, distract the compass or whatever and to create confusion there will also be challenges and difficulties to get to the destination so if we get the idea of karma and how to put all those elements in alignment with each other the intention knowledge and action without trying to look for shortcuts and i know that many people look for those hacks how to hack the system there's no hacks here there's no shortcuts here. There's no shortcuts here. People get sick without knowing why. People get whatever without knowing why. Go to your intention. Follow the real knowledge and act with courage without hesitation upon the intention and the knowledge. You have this recipe. You have whatever you want in your life. Love, health, freedom, all the significant things in one's life. Compromise them, there will be a price. And the price might not be tangible, might not necessarily be financial, but it could be also health, it could be emotional, it could be relationships, it could be social. Anyway, in this video, you have the secret of secrets. Use it for your benefit, ignore it, and it will work against you. I hope I could help 
and shed some light on this. I'm Shreddy Jabari. Thank you so much for watching.